Why are you going around that way? All right, let's look at Whirlpool. Come on. It's good too. Okay, GE. There go the famous blue tip. There's some blue tape on these switches here. Hey, beautiful. Good morning. It is Saturday. This ear has really been bugging me. Anyway, welcome to the moving vlog. If you haven't figured it out in the title, we're moving. We're renting and we already have people coming to see the house tomorrow. So that's one of the things that need to get done today. We got to restage the house. We were told to kind of keep the house staged, but I have three kids up. Anywho, it is Saturday, like I said, so we're going to run a few errands. The first thing we need to do is go and scope out a refrigerator because the new construction home does not come with a refrigerator. It doesn't come with a refrigerator and it doesn't come with a washer and dryer. So those are the two things we're going to need. I'll tell you later why we need a washer and dryer, but yeah, let me get dressed and let's get in the car. Hey. Why are you going around that way? Dropping off some things we decluttered from the garage to Goodwill. Okay, the whole point is to not have to pay the first, you know you gotta pay your rent, right? Like the first of the month. We're trying to be out of our rental before the first of the next month so we don't have to pay it. Our rent is up, yes. So that means they have to show the rental while we're in it. So anyway, she texted me this morning and said, hey, we got a 4.30 showing, a 6.30 showing today, although she was supposed to tell me 24 hours in advance because I got kids, people. I can't just be doing stuff, she, but she wasn't able to. So we had an afternoon activity with the kids that we got to push later out and most likely have dinner out as well. Hopefully we don't have to, but um, the kids gonna be hungry. They are gonna be hungry at six. So let's go quickly look at the stores and see if they have any deals going on. I have put on my community tab and asked y'all about any refrigerator brands or anything, things to stay away from and brands that I could get. And you guys had told me that Lowe's be having some good deals, promotions, and what else? Oh, and to check Facebook Marketplace because they be having some stuff in offer up, be having those stores that have scratch and dent. Thing here, but this is the type of refrigerator I want. I want it to be very big up here and in the freezer on the bottom. So, the two door freezer on the bottom. Oh, I'm looking for Whirlpool because I want all the appliances in the kitchen to match. GE, one of my subscribers said GE is good too. Yeah, so it's very spacious. All right, let's look at Whirlpool. Come on. Ooh, this is nice. Do you guys care about the water from the fridge? I don't. I have kind of like a weird relationship thing with the filters. Because I lived in a place before where they just didn't change it. They were steady getting water from the fridge without changing this filter. So ever since then, I don't drink water from the filter. Okay, I've decided I want double doors, freezer on the bottom. Everybody on TikTok was saying stay away from Samsung. No, no they said the refrigerators too. You guys, we're not looking at washers and dryers. We're looking at refrigerators. Oh, babe, here, a Whirlpool. Wow, this Whirlpool is kind of cool. Oh, I feel like there's not enough depth to it. I don't know about that. Oh my God. What's wrong? Daddy, I don't want to be in the car. That's exactly where you're going to be, in the car. Is it ghetto to have like a different appliance than like the rest of the stuff? Because the dishwasher is Whirlpool, the stove is Whirlpool, but I don't like the Whirlpool they have here. Let's go to Lowe's. You guys, my ear was bothering me. Look, look at my ear. This one is more inflamed than this one. You see, this one look normal. And this one is like inflamed. So I took the earring out. So I took it out and guess what? I lost the back. Then lost the back of the Pandora earring. Sorry, sir. Oh, excuse me. Lost the back of the Pandora earring in the car. So hubby's gonna get a magnet thing from Home Depot what? and try to look for it because I was gifted that earring. I thought this was gonna be fun. It's not fun. I'm sure enough not having fun. But I don't know if I want different brands in the kitchen. It just sticks out like a sore thumb. But then, oh my. Hey, hey. It's good too, 36. I don't think it matters what type of thing. You guys, I like this sign. I think I'm over the, everything has to be Whirlpool. It's the LG. Have you guys seen the one and done, like the washer and dryer together? No load transfer, two jobs in one. 
two hours wash and dry one machine okay GE this one looks futuristic I like this one. that one mm -hmm. I don't want the double door things anymore why are we in the French door section Mariah has that open the whole thing and not open the door isn't that cool you guys all right you guys we're going to a scratch and dent appliance store I, I found my refrigerator i'm going with the lg yeah, this whirlpool so they all can match and i don't care i'm over it maybe you gotta put your seatbelt on Hubby bought um, this at Lowe's, like a magnet thing, to get the back of the earring. Apparently, the earring is not magnet. It's not magnetized. It's not magnetic. I'm just gonna buy some earring backs from Amazon. But I don't know why that earring was irritating me. But we're gonna go to this last one place and then head home because this ain't it. I like that appliances for less. Okay. He gonna go. Then I'm gonna go. For all the people that don't do screen time with their children when they're out, how do you do it? Tell me, comment, and tell me what you do. Your kids in the car, like, how you do it? How? Liam was cutting up in Lowe's until I gave him my phone. Now I have peace and quiet. Y'all, he literally just loaded all that onto his truck. Hubby was saying it's basically the same price as Home Depot and that the MSRM, I don't know what hubby, how Hubby explained it, but it looked cheaper to me. Look cheaper. Why some of these missing handles? Are we supposed to get our own handle? And where are the bottom of these? Oh, it's missing parts. That's why. Are we supposed to get that by ourselves? Child? The first thing they have in there is like, and then they got big old dents on the doors. I'm not like anything like small. Like, no. Uh, and then they're missing handles. Are we supposed to get our own handle? Sure they'll, they'll give you the handle? Oh. So it's not a big difference? No. Well, you're looking for like $500 off? Yeah. Oh. We're stopping for lunch at Wings 101. Hubby wanted wings, I wanted Chick fil A. It's too hot to debate, so we at the wing place. All right, you guys, we just got home. We got 45 minutes to get this house put together because obviously it looks like a Saturday morning house. We need to get it show ready and be out of here back in the car because the first home showing is, let me see what she had texted me this morning. She was supposed to give me 24 hour notice. I don't know if I told you that, but this is sure enough not 24 hours. So it's 10 30 a.m. tomorrow. But for today, we got a 4 30. We got a uh, 5. What? We got, we got a 4.30, we got a 5.30, we got a 6 p.m. So we need to be out, not in this house during that time. I also gotta wash Liam hair and braid his, you know what? And tomorrow it's a 10.30 and a 12 p.m. So yeah, I gotta get this house together. I just lighted a candle, rose water and ivy candle from Bath and Body Works so the house don't smell lived in. Fitted sheet was in a washer getting washed. So I just threw the, whatever this is, over it for now. Bathroom looks clean. That's our swim bag. I don't think it looks horrible. I really don't think it looks bad. Here's the hallway. I tidied up that bathroom, tidied up all the kids' um, rooms. They're taking a 40 minute nap just so we can get everything done. Let me go downstairs and help hubby. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are done. It is 3.47. The showings are gonna start at 4.30, but we still gotta wake the kids up and get them ready for swim and change our clothes as well. So we're gonna do that so we can literally be out the house by 4.15, just in case anybody arrives early.
também. Alright you guys, first time at Whataburger. Let's try it out. Alright you guys, first time at Whataburger. And the one say the line wrapped around the building all the way to the street. And we finally like came and the line was short, so it was like bad. First of all we had to wait like 20 minutes. It was mid, it was okay. I didn't I didn't like it. Too much mustard. I feel like Wendy's is better. You know what I did like though? Their kids meal had a small, huh? A slight variation, kind of like Zaxby's. Come Aiden. Like Zaxby's has the like, the biscuit thing. You know Zaxby's, whatever. Anyway, they had like fruit snacks instead of, no, no, no. They had fries and then a fruit snack or a Graham, Graham cracker, Graham or Graham cracker, whatever. I thought that was cool. Other than that, I didn't feel like there was nothing special. Maybe I'm missing something or I'm not cultured. The kids said it was the best restaurant ever. So they really liked it. It was affordable though, at least for fast food. I feel like the prices were really good. And for fast food, it was, it was fresh. Like, you know, the food was fresh. Good morning, beautiful. It is a whole mess of days later. It is Thursday of the following week. I'm literally wearing the same outfit. Mind the business that pays you. Mind the business, okay? I was halfway to put it in on. I'm like, didn't I wear this five days ago? Girl, I still put it on because it is what it is. Anyway, I noticed that it has some oil stains on it for some reason from the um, washer and dryer the ones we have are just not good so I ordered some pickup or tide pickups from target pickup I said tide pickup wow. I ordered some tide pins from target pickup with some Tylenol wow. because my gums has been hurting me lately when I'm close to my menstrual cycle my gums start wow. to hurt me so that's what I'm doing I just came from the period can I go Jesus oh don't use his name in vain come on People have no chill in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta right now. They just, they have no kind of courtesy for nobody. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of days later. What I've been doing all those following days is daycare stuff. Not really moving stuff, just kind of working a lot. Picked up a new company, so I've been doing a lot of work for the company behind the scenes, my husband's company. So, that's, that's what I've been doing, nothing interesting. Anyway, I just came from the pediatrician. Girl, it's been black this whole time, my bad. I just came from the pediatrician with Liam. I needed to get a form. What form I needed to get? The current daycare he goes to needed a form 3231 for him. So I was like, let me just take him to get his immunization and just get for the, and just get the forms for everybody. In other news, I did find a daycare. I spent a whole bunch of days researching, kept touring daycares because ultimately the one daycare, oh, uh, this is the wrong exit. The one daycare that I had decided to go with they didn't have no space till next year. So they had a sister company that I toured, but I wasn't feeling the first one or the second one. And at this time I was on my 15th daycare. And right when I was about to apply for it, I was like, you know what? It just don't sit good in my spirit. Plus I gotta drive 15 minutes away. So I'm like, if I'm already driving 15 minutes away, I might as well look for a Goddard because my kids are currently at a Goddard franchise so i was like let me just look for a garden so that's what i did and miraculously there was a garden in the area the minute that i walked through the door i was like this is it this is it i'm at starbucks one quick second good morning um i wanted to order a grande strawberry refresher thank you so much no thank you I forgot to tell them no inclusions. I have a whole bunch of strawberry pieces. Those strawberry pieces be annoying because they be sticking to the um the mouth of the cup, like the little opening they give you. 
today I have to stop by and give the application. I gotta fill out. I filled out Aiden and Liam's application and turned that in. But I gotta fill out um, Aiden's application for after school. What else? I need to bring the money order for registration. And we got our blue tip walkthrough today. But let me put this down because when I leave the Starbucks, I gotta drive, go to Target, and then we're gonna go to the blue tip walkthrough. All right, you guys, I am at Target. And they didn't have, I ordered some Tylenol, but they didn't have any Tylenol. So, I gotta hurry up. Ty to go. I don't know how to use this, but you see this stain here? I don't know if you can see it, but I can. This one right here, it's like an oil stain. This is my first time using this. Oh, there's directions in the back. But, remove excess residue from the stain. There's none. Press tip on the stain to release the, this better not be... Here's the tip. Can I see? I think I can see. Oh man, I gotta press it. My bad. Twirl it, it says. If I made this worse, I'm gonna be so mad. Press tip on the stain to release desired amount. Rub gently. Oop. Across the stain to remove it. When necessary, add more liquid and continue rubbing gently. Let me dry and let this dry and see if it comes out. Cause it says no water needed, so let's see. There's another one right here. There you go. Got you. Can y'all use you? Can, this whole time y'all looking at my face. Is it working? You know what I just realized, you guys? I may have a tide to go in my car. I'd be real mad if I do. All right, it looks like this. Hopefully it's dry before I get there. And I did the other one right here. Let's see if it dries before I get to where I'm going. So our grass is in. Let's go inside. <sighs> AC. So we're just blue taping. So here's some blue tape we already put. And it seemed as if the wall here had some warping, water warping. So they just cut out a hole just now and said it was dry. So that's good. They go the famous blue tape. Yeah, I was looking forward to this. Like, I was looking forward to this. Blue taping under. This whole thing got blue taped. Okay. Okay, so what the blue tape is, is essentially... Okay, so what the blue tape is, essentially, to my understanding, you kind of walk through. I don't know if they do that for existing. Maybe they do. You walk through, like, a couple of days before closing, and you blue tape any imperfections that they need to fix. We just did that, so for closing day, the way DR Horton in my area does it, you blue tip and get your orientation at the same time, which is kind of ghetto, but it is what it is. So orientation was him showing us how the appliances work, the numbers we need to call if we have a problem, and having us walk through and put tape on all imperfections so they could fix it before our closing, which would be next week. Here's blue tape on the stairs, so here's an imperfection here with the paint, so we just put a blue tape here. There's some blue tape on these switches here. This area, what's this, a bubble? We got some on the tubs and above the tub. What is this double line? Is this the lighting? I think that's the lighting. Yeah, there is a whole bunch here. There's one here. Davidson is outside right now, currently with the building manager people, like discussing the driveway because there's like a big crack on the driveway. And the guy is like, oh, it's just like, you know, a hairline crack. And Davidson's like, it shouldn't be a hairline crack if it was just built. So they going back and forth. And I just had to go back and forth with them about the ceiling because they sure enough was not going to check us like that. But, child. You see, this is what I was trying to tell you. Look at that big Whirlpool sign. Whirlpool. Look. Whirlpool, remember? That's what I was trying to tell you. I'm like, okay, if they come and they come to the refrigerator and the refrigerator talking about some, I don't know the name of the refrigerators, guys, some Samsung, ain't that gonna look weird? I feel like that's gonna look weird. Even the washer, Whirlpool. Everything Whirlpool. No, 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 the guy has to take them. You know, the guy actually should drop them, but the tape there is actually going to. Situations like this, they won't do the patch until they have confirmation that, hey, it's not happening. Okay. And then we'll come again, the banks will come again in 11 months. We'll come and do another sheet rock and we'll do another paint touch up. This lot is not good, but that tide, baby, the tide, look. Spot where? Where the spot? Where the spot? Where is it? 
I'm supposed to be blue taping, but I'm in here talking to you. you know, Look at this Be present to buyers before we did that first thing it says. So the man just left that supposed to give us orientation, right? So Davidson wasn't happy because there's a crack on our driveway. I'm supposed to be showing you the crack, but it's hot. So I'm trying to like fuel up, like get some AC in my body, like fuel up, power up, like you know what I'm like. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna say I'm gonna show you. So hold up. So he is talking about the man left, you know, they did the da da da, and he's like, no, I'm not satisfied. So I'm about to go to several people's driveways and double check if there's crap too. And come on, come with me. And I was like, no, no. He's like, come on, come on. You need to, you know, it's your investment. So he started to walk, and I started to walk, and I felt the heat. And he kept going, and I did a U-turn, and I came back in here. I don't think he noticed I'm not behind him. I can't, baby, I can't. Mm mm. So he walking, and he looking at people driveways. I don't know why he think it's fine. How to be walking in people driveways? No, ma'am. So let's leave it right there. Let's leave it right there. There's a smudge right here, right here. But the man was being real stingy with his little tape. Like he literally didn't let me touch the tape. Nobody, he had to tape it. So, there's some tape right here. Some excess tape, I'm about to rip a little bit. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. I'ma get another you in a minute. Whoop. Now Fisher Homes trying to sell me more property. Baby, I already got my property. Bye. You guys, I'm so hungry and they're still going on and on about this concrete that nobody want to fix. So I can appreciate the, you know, diligence. I don't know what to call it, but my stomach ain't happy with it. Not at all. Oh, the mailbox is really, really far, you guys. Like this is far. And then on top of that, they're saying that this neighborhood is not going to be done to another four years. Probably longer. God dang. Likely longer. Where did she say these mailboxes are? I think it's the other Oh way. my God. Oh my God, I see them. Oh my God. This is 10 bucks too, bro. People can just steal your ish. They are all over there. Look at this. And they didn't even build a canopy. What if it's raining? They, they could have at least build a little canopy. If it's raining, you ain't getting nothing. Okay. Okay, no problem. You guys, I have to fill out. I forgot totally that I had the... Davidson had the tour today. So I got to fill this out. This is for um, Aiden. This car is shaking. Anyway, this is for Aiden. But look how thick this daycare paper is. Look. Look how thick. Child. Let me fill this out so we can go take the tour. Hey love, we are back. Let me dim this a little bit. I, uh, it's a couple of days later, maybe a lot of days. Yeah, I don't think I've spoken to you since last week. I had to pause, sorry for the water, the dripping. I mean, I just washed my hands. And with some updates, I'm just folding some laundry because we close on our house tomorrow and we're moving a couple of days shortly thereafter and we ain't moving with dirty laundry. So every day I try to do a little bit. But anyway, some updates. Remember that driveway? Baby, a couple of corporate emails later, driveway done. Check. <laughs> so it got escalated and the driveway is getting done. Thank you, DR Horton. We appreciate you. So I've just been decluttering the house. I got some decluttering to do now. We can do it together. So I've decluttered this room. I just got to declutter the rest of upstairs and downstairs. And tomorrow I'm going to start a new vlog. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. Just getting stuff done. I don't think I'm going to empty the drawers. Honestly, I think I'm going to use the drawers as storage. Oh my God, why does she have so much socks? Mama, why do you have so much? I have to go through these socks. I'm not doing that now. I don't think these fit anymore. I'm gonna get rid of these. These don't fit. These socks are thick. I'm gonna use them in a one top. That I think I'm gonna load up all the dressers in the house, like load them up. Well, the kids dressers, cause they don't even wanna have empty, empty drawers. I'm gonna load them up with the stuff and have them, the moving company move with them at the same time. What's in here? This should be donated. Okay, all this, and I could have sworn I decluttered this a while back. But all of this, going to Goodwill. We don't need it. It's going to Goodwill. What's that? Mm -mm. We need this mask. Everything else is going to Goodwill. Goodwill, 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 Goodwill. These are her books. Keeping all these. We got to get rid of this. Goodwill. Goodwill. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, thank you. Really? I'm not talking to you. No, I'm not talking to you. 
So I'm just getting rid of all, getting rid of all of last winter stuff. Last winter and fall stuff, I just keep it in her closet. So I'm gonna put these in donation bags, and then I'm gonna do the two boys' rooms, and we'll be done decluttering upstairs. No, I gotta do the bathroom. <laughs> guys hella crazy but upstairs is completely decluttered let me show you everything that i decluttered so all this stuff i think there's some trash in here but i, I don't know it's late goodwill and all that stuff over there well i'm pointing the wrong direction by the door goodwill child what is on here is that the kids i don't even want to know i don't want to know so anyway i'm going to end the moving vlog here i'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one moving vlog too so yeah let's talk in the comments bye